innocent people. He doesn't belong here. I say we take him out. He goes for serious problems. I need money and a gun. You're going to need more than that. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 action film Section 8. A film that is directed by Christian Sesma and it stars Ryan Quanton, Dolph Lundgren, Scott Atkins, Dermot Mulroney and Mickey Rourke. Quite a cast list, I think you will agree. Now this film focuses on Ryan Quanton's character, Jake Atherton who we see at the beginning of the film is a soldier serving in the armed forces in Afghanistan, I believe it is. Um, he ends up getting kind of honorably discharged. His commanding officer is Dolph Lundgren. Uh, he goes home and tries to carry on with his normal life, working as a mechanic in his uncle's garage. His uncle is played by Mickey Rourke. Um, he gets embroiled in like a gang war almost, um, and his family is... Um, killed. He takes revenge um, and is imprisoned because of this uh, for life. He is then recruited into a secret shady military organisation called Section 8 essentially to become an assassin. He soon realises however that this looks like being a huge mistake and he starts looking for a way out. Right. What are my thoughts on Section 8? Well, everything on the surface of this points to um, another one of those generic, poor, um, like, action films um, that shouldn't work. It's just got a few star names thrown in there uh, to put on the sleeve of the DVD or the poster and it will attract, you know... Uh, casual action fans in and that was my impression going into it and then when the credits started rolling and I saw that in actual fact um, two of the producers here were Scott Atkins and Dolph Lundgren I started thinking okay all right well that means that they're going to want it to be some level of quality here um, and while I do think this film has its issues and problems, and it, is, it does get a little bit messy with too many characters, too many cooks spoiling the broth, so to speak, I think at the very core of this film, um, it's a pretty well-made um, action film that certainly had me interested and engaged throughout. And there's a number of reasons for that. Uh, one of them being the cast. Now, in particular... Um, I thought Ryan Quanton was excellent. I've only ever really, I could only ever remember seeing him in something fairly recent. And that was that film Glorious. It was on Shudder a few weeks ago that I reviewed. Um, I, he shouldn't work as an action lead in this film. But he absolutely does. They've done a really good job um, creating this character who is vulnerable, but also very, very skilled. Um, and that, coupled together with a very, very strong performance by Ryan Quanton, I think dele delivers a captivated, captivating lead that you can get behind. You immediately get behind this guy because he, you know, he does a few heroics in Afghanistan, all this kind of stuff. He comes home, he's got a loving wife and son, and you immediately feel sorry for him because of what happens to them. So you're kind of on his side from minute one, really, this character. And I think they, they actually did a pretty decent job of giving us a character to care about. Now, Dolph Lundgren, who plays like his commanding officer in um, over in Afghanistan, we kind of see him sporadically in the film. He kind of visits him when he's in jail, um, and the Jake character visits him when he kind of realises that this Section 8 is not all it's cracked up to be, and he wants a little bit more information about them. And he turns up at the end, Dolph Lundgren... Um, he's not in it a huge amount, but what he, is, what he does do in the film is okay. Um... And I, 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 I could see his role um, being needed in the, in the film sort of thing. Sometimes you put these st somewhat star names in a film and they don't need to be there. Which is absolutely the case for Mickey Rourke, uh, who plays his uncle, like the guy that runs his um, garage, where he works as a mechanic, this Jake. That whole sequence and section of him working as a mechanic just wasn't needed. I could understand, it tied into like this gang thing that led to his family being killed. Um... But they could have done that in any uh, another hundred different ways. 
Um, it just felt like it, it, it was a way to force Mickey Rock in the film, who brought nothing to the film. He, he was kind of sleepwalking his way through the performance, and easily the worst thing about the film, I would say, the Mickey Rock sections, even though he's not in it a great deal. Scott Atkins, who I'm a big fan of, by the way, and he's obviously a producer on this, he kind of plays like an assassin that works for Section 8. He's the one they call when nobody else can get the job done. It's that sort of assassin. Um, and even though it's really cool seeing Scott Atkins do what he does with his kicks and flips and all that kind of stuff, and he's really excellent at all that stuff, and it's really good watching him in his, this film, he plays probably the worst assassin ever. He's one of these assassins that kills everybody to get the job done. Uh, the first time you meet him is in a casino, and he kills some guy in a casino, and then as he's escaping the casino, he kills about 20 security guards. He's that kind of assassin, do you know what I mean? And later on in the film, when you see him again, he's killing police officers and stuff. He's like, assassins, you know, are supposed to be a little bit more discreet than that, mate. But it's entertaining, nonetheless, seeing him do what he does. And he's like the main, you know, clash with this Jake character. You know they're going to come head to head at some point in the film, and that doesn't disappoint, I have to say. So while the, and the Dermot Mulrooney character is like the head of this section eight, he's like the shady lead, the, the commanding officer of this section eight. So while at times it does feel a bit generic, while at times it does feel a bit predictable, um, I thought I thought the action was well staged, um, which you would expect with Scott Atkins and Dolph Lundgren as producers. I don't think they'd allow anything less. Um, so the, I think the action is on point, the fight scenes are on point, and there is a fantastic fight scene at the end between Ryan Quanton and Scott Atkins. I thought that was really, really good. So I thought it delivered. There's a, there's a swerve here and there, there's a betrayal here and there. Um, and like I say, I was fairly entertained watching this, and I was really expecting not to, because I've seen some fairly substandard um action films over this last couple of years reviewing on this channel with so-called star names on the poster um this one delivered yeah it doesn't completely blow you away but it's certainly a, um, a little bit better than some of the other action films that you see on this kind of level um and i, I was fairly entertained watching it so i'm going to give it a six out of ten because of it i did actually consider a seven out of ten at one point but um it did it does get a little bit silly here and there, but um, it, it, it was close to a 7, I'm not going to lie, because I was really quite entertained by this one. So check it out if you're interested, guys. If you're a fan of Scott Atkins, you'll enjoy his part in the role, even though he's not in it a huge amount. But I think the real star of the show in this film is Ryan Quanton, who I think delivered a really convincing action lead, which I just genuinely didn't expect he was going to be able to do. So check this one out if you get the opportunity, guys. It, I think it's worth a watch anyway. So that's my review for Section 8. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. I will, of course, be back with more content on the channel very, very soon.